Hi right, guys, this is Region of Sparta, and I'm playing Empire Total War. Right, and the first thing I think I'm going to do, in this session at least... You can move your rake by right-clicking on any part of the highlighted area. He will move within yeah, yeah, the yeah, extended... Is load up my rake and start sabotaging the French. Right, anyway, end this turn, I think. Oh, hello. Now, where are you going with that fleet of yours? Now this panel is used for negotiations between nations. Available diplomatic options are listed on the left. Click on an option to create a proposal and press the X button to cancel it. A complicated proposal involving too many elements may be rejected out of hand. You don't care then. This is interesting. Whoops, I think I didn't knock something over. Anyway, this is interesting because they've just offered me a trade agreement, right? But I'm at war with one of their protectorates and they don't appear to care. Interesting. Probably gonna have to speed up the speed that things move at, or otherwise this is gonna get tedious. But oh well. Oh, I just realised something. You can fortify things in towns. Periodically, your government will issue missions for you to undertake. Although optional, it can be useful to do them in order to learn various aspects of gameplay. Your first mission has arrived. To begin, simply click on the relevant message box on the left. Click on the missions button in the bottom right of the screen to view details of active missions. Is that again? So Georgia, Cherokee Territory, New France.
Right, so I need New France. Right, hi guys, I'm back again. Right, I figured out what it was I had to capture. That one. That one. And that one. Not going to do it just yet though. Because, if you look, no time limit. <coughs> and because there's no time limit, there's a few other things I want to do first. First of all, I think, I'm going to repair this fleet. repair the lot. Right. Now here's the question, do I want colonial line infantry or colonial missile? Yeah, I think I want Colonial Line Infantry. Hmm. Well, I can only build Colonial Line Infantry there. I don't really see the point of road, so... In this one. I think I am going to build some Indiamen. And use those to build up some trade routes. Jamaica? Yeah, I already know about that. Peasant farm, Rupert land. I'll have a look at that. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Can't do anything more. Poland, Lithuania, Austria, right. United Provinces, and... Ooh! Right, that means I might want to declare war on Spain fairly soon. Yeah, I think war with Spain is probably a good idea. Units that have suffered losses in battle. Blah 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 blah. Whatever, I don't know what that does. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I was going to use this to start sabotaging things. No, I don't want to go straight onto Paris. Use this panel to select the action you wish. Clicking on the infiltrate button means your agent will begin spying upon arrival at his destination. If he is successful, you will be able to see more information about the buildings and troops inside. As with all subterfuge actions, there is a percentage chance of success, and failure may mean capture and execution. A 
another mission no one has to see. Keeping oh. vigil. The construction of libraries, schools, colleges, and universities enables the research of new technologies and ideas that could keep your nation ahead of its rivals. As well as producing gentlemen or scholars for research, these buildings also have the residual effect of educating the masses. However, this might be a bad thing if not carefully managed. People with ideas above their stations can cause unrest and worse. Note that agents cannot be recruited as a unit might be. They are automatically spawning. In the case of gentlemen and scholars, the rate of this spawning is dependent on the level of the educational buildings, such as universities, within your empire. Okay, For yeah, weeks, so they spawn, they don't... Bodies, I can't the recruit them. spawning is linked to the level of entertainment buildings, such as taverns within your empire. Now, of course, ideally... I want to go and use my Indiamans to trade. So... I'm going to want a few more of them. Okay, so I, what I don't understand at this point, and I'm trying to figure it out, is how I get my better units. Funds are deducted from your treasury at yeah, the yeah, 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 go away. Um, how do I get... How do I get better quality troops? Right, anyway, back again. I just had to turn it off for a second there. Um, right. Now, obviously, if I'm going to capture stuff in here, I'm going to need more troops over here. So, to that end, I'm going to recruit. No, I don't want fixed artillery. They're crap. I don't particularly want them either. Um, oh, I've run out of money. That's a bugger. Um, right, in the meantime, yes. most of these guys look like they're crap.
Right, point in question, don't use him for long range battles then if he has. Minus five to campaign movement range, that ain't too good is it? Um, where you see that guy has plus five. So if I'm going to send him anywhere else it probably ought to be him. Well, that's the point. Right, let's start trading with people. Denmark. You'll do. You're allied with Russia, you're all with Barbary. Sweden. Oh, what's my relation like with Sweden? Yeah, man. Yeah, let's open negotiations. And I want this option trade is used to broker trade agreements. Once agreed, blah blah blah. Once researched, a technology can be offered to another nation as part of a diplomatic deal. A technology can be demanded as long as the other nation has already researched it. Right, is this going to work, I wonder? That's worth it, but whatever. A new trade route has been opened between the ports of your home region and those of your trading partner. Guard it well, as your enemies will attempt to raid it, potentially ruining your economy. Right, anyway. Hi everyone, back again, playing Empire Total War. Right, now I'm still deciding who I want to trade with. And I think it would make some sense to have Denmark, but I'm just thinking, is there anyone else that I might want? As you can see, most of them I can't trade with anymore, because I've obviously filled up the trade routes. trade agreement money can be offered to or demanded of another nation as reparations for war tribute to avoid attack now nah, I'm just gonna send it straight goodwill use the arrow buttons to enter an amount and click on the appropriate checkbox in order to no. select a single or regular payment before putting forward your proposal Refuse offer. No, there's no way I'm giving you Ireland for Iceland. It's just not happening, mate. I 
I'm not even going to bother if that's what's going around. Right. Anyway, I've spent all the money, so there's nothing left to do. I don't think. You're still retraining. When you finish retraining, I'll add obviously those troops to you. Yeah, I'll probably add most of those troops actually. Characters within your nation will develop personality traits that affect their abilities. Some traits are present when a character enters the campaign, others are acquired as he gains experience. I'll probably recruit here some colonial militia and then take them and them out of there and then go capture that. Right, that's the plan for next turn. France is sending more troops, that could be an issue later. Okay, so Sweden and Denmark are going at each other, and Sweden look like they won that one. This colony has reached its maximum export capacity, despite the region's potential for greater production. Upgrade the port to ensure the cash keeps flowing and the coffers of your empire continue to be filled. Right, that's good. Chapter school, coffee and fur. Can I do anything more? No, not yet.
Right. Recruit some troops there. Prussia and Austria have declared war. Um, okay. First things first, I think. Use this panel to manually merge armies. Click on the unit or character you wish to move, then click on the central button to move it from one army to another. It's possible to select several units at a time. I'll just have a colonial militia there, I think. The construction of industrial centers will steer your empire from subsistence to wealth and affluence for many. However, industrialization comes at a price. The lower orders may become unhappy with the pace of change, as the introduction of new technology quickly forces them from the land into modern manufacturers. Right. Only, do I want you to leave? I don't know if you're necessary at this point. Oh, what the heck. Yeah, you're fairly happy right now, I'd say. Yep, got my army on board. Right, that'll do. Leave them there for the minute, I think. I probably won't even need them. If I do, I'll look like a fool, but never mind. Second, right, what is that? Colonial militia? You know, I could take that dead easily. I could just literally walk into that and just take it. To be fair, this doesn't look like it's very rich. I don't know if I'll bother. Right. Okay, that should be captured next turn. That'll be quite easy, I think. I hope. He says. Um, basic rows. Now I don't see the point. Indiamans will be constructed soon. How about over here? Yeah, Indiaman, Indiaman. Right. 
Rival agents can be removed by assassination. Select your rake, then click on his intended target. I'm just going to save the game a second. Right, because this could go wrong. Clicking on the sabotage button means your agent oh, no. will attempt to damage a building upon arrival no, at his that's destination. Not work, is it? As with all subterfuge actions, there is a percentage chance of success, and failure may mean capture and execution. Your will. Stealth is my cloak. Can't kill him yet. I'll wait there. I'll try and have a whack at him in a bit. What do I need to build most? Let's afford a town wealth. That wouldn't be bad. Right. I wonder if I should bother building them. No, not yet. Not yet. I'm just going to think what I'm going to spend it on. Okay, 91% is good enough for me. I'm going to send him towards New France, I think. Start converting that, cause issues for French. Looks good to me. Buildings that have been damaged due to sabotage or during battle can be rebuilt. To repair a building, select it and click on the rebuild button to the left of the panel. Spend the money on fur markets, what would it give me? Can't do anything there. Right, hold on. No. No. Peasant farm, why not? Always need more peasants. Or peasants to order around. Never a bad thing. Um hmm. What's the status like here? Public order's pretty darn good actually. Um Probably want slightly higher upper class. Your roads increases growth, which is good. Okay then. Go cool roads. Why is this flashing? I don't understand. Don't see the point in fixed artillery. When defending your territory, it's important to know how far enemy armies are able to move. 
click on an enemy army to see its zone of movement. When an army is blocking your path, the terrain will be highlighted at the choke point. You must fight it to pass through, or find an alternative route. I think I'm going to have to deal with those trades that are under attack. Not you. Yeah, because I can't have these guys floating around. Yeah, they'll probably be a deal without a thought. would be a good idea. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to build that. I ain't got any artillery units in the army, so it's a bit pointless giving me that. Um, <clears throat> I don't think there's anything else I can do. Nah, I think this is pretty much all I can do this turn, is it not? Still got that researching. See, yeah, he can still move, but he's still on there, so it's not like... So Ireland and Jamaica aren't too happy with me right now. Neither Scotland, actually. Hold on. Should keep things happy for the minute. I think that's realistically as much money as I can spend. So, yeah, unless there's anything I've forgotten to do. I don't think so. Right. End turn. Cool, blimey, the French are building up a bit of a force there, aren't they? Yeah, something's going to have to be done about that, I think.
Oh no, Spain have decided to deal them for me. That's nice of you, Spain. Thank you very much. I now don't have to go around killing pirates. Which is kind of ironic, because the English are kind of pirates. And I'm sure a few fellow Englishmen are going to start screaming at me about that one, but never mind. We do have quite a distinguished history of privateering us English, you know. I wonder if the 13 colonies could actually defend themselves from attack. They probably could actually, judging by what they've got. Palmers, right, hold on. Yeah, the Bahamas aren't going growing very quick. Um hmm. Oh what? Raiding my trade routes. If you are, I am not going to be happy. Okay. I'm going to send this bloke to go make a trade route for me. If I can find, though, where I want him to be. Hmm. What is, I can't go through there, can I? Coast of Brazil. When moving into the transition zone between map theatres, this travel destination window will appear. Select the campaign theatre you wish to travel to in order to move there. You'll always be presented with the shortest route to your destination. Moving between theatres takes one turn per theatre. Okay, that's fair enough. You're going that way. Hopefully you don't get shot on the way there. I'm going to start trading. Blimey, you don't have many troops there at all. I might have to do something about that, but in the meantime... In order to gain control of a garrisoned and fortified city, 
It's often necessary. A very large army or navy spread over two or more unit stacks may not be able to fight as a single force. A nation can field a maximum of 20 units on the battlefield at one time. In this instance, additional units arrive for battle piecemeal, joining the fray to reinforce units that have been routed or destroyed. They hide behind women's skirts. The swine rot in the sky. Yeah, I could have a problem actually if they all decide to come for me at once. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. That would give me more bonus to tax income. That would give me more troops. I actually want that, I think. Right. And this is going to make my upkeep go up. But... I want... these guys because obviously I'm going to start marching on France at one point not yet but I am going to do it Okay, well, I think I'll end the video here. See you guys later.